Does a Denver-based company have a new hope to pay off debt? Which company holds a new self-record? And what Canadian-based company has a new way of optimized performance? Has a United States company had a major improvement of 300%? All this and more when we come back. Hello and welcome back to Energy Scout News and Information. I'm your host, Red Byers. Today's segment will focus on production within the energy industry. In breaking news, Denver-based St. Mary Land and Exploration Company has closed its sale of non-strategic properties to Abraxas Petroleum for $131.6 million. The property's location is mostly in the Rocky Mountain and Mid-Continent regions. The company will use the proceeds of the sale to pay down its existing bank debt. PetroQuest Energy Incorporated reported that the company is updating its fourth quarter 2007 production guidance to approximately 85 million cubic feet equivalent per day from its previously issued guidance of 83 to 89. The company ended 2007 with approximately 157 billion cubic feet equivalent of proved oil and gas reserves, a new company record. Approximately 91% of the proved reserves were natural gas, additionally 69% of the proved reserves were for proved development. Now let's take a look at other news in the energy industry. Westcorp Energy Incorporated reported that a natural gas production company based in Canada has adopted Westcorp's Navigator Gas Management Solution, Westcorp's wholly owned Flowstar Technologies gas metering system. The solution to enhance its processes acutely measures gas flow, optimizes field performance, and in doing so reduces operating cost while saving valuable time and resources. The customer purchased the solution and has fully implemented it following a short implementation period time. USA Superior Energy Holdings Incorporated reported a dramatic improvement in production of over 300% in one of its fields. The company has 88 producing wells on approximately 1,200 acres, which started January 1st of 2008. A workover program was then initiated. The program is to take five to seven wells per week and perform a complete overhaul. To date, 12 wells have been subjected to this program with the result of an average 300% increase overall. After all the wells have been totally reworked, USA Superior Energy will initiate their EOR program. Now let's take a look at today's market numbers. Crude oil is down 58 cents to $91.75 and is still holding in the lower $90 range. Natural gas is up and holding 2 cents to $8.07. And now let's take a quick look at our people on the move. In strange news today, a 10-year-old girl is a veterinarian assistant. Right there. Time for surgery at the South Bay Veterinary Hospital in Olympia. They need to get that out of there. Dr. Michelle Shoemaker is being assisted by Courtney Oliver, a certified veterinary assistant who just completed her college coursework. It's hard to tell which one's which with their masks on. There. But partway through the surgery, it is clear who's who. Come on, let me scoop my stool. The really tiny one is Courtney, still elementary school aged. So how old are you? I am 10. And you have a college degree? Mm-hmm. A 10-year-old with an online certification as a veterinary assistant. There you go, honey. And in eight months, Courtney had the same certification as her adult co-workers. Ah, there we go. Okay, which tube do you need? Courtney says she knew early in life this is what she wanted to do. Wow, she makes Doogie Hauser look old. And that's it for today's Energy Headlines. Be sure to check out our website, energyscout.com, and stay tuned tomorrow. We will take a look at drilling within the energy industry. For Energy Scout News and Information, I'm your host, Red Byers.